In the previous session, we finished the qualitative risk evaluation. With the risks that we selected, we have to continue with the quantitative risk evaluation. What is the quantitative risk evaluation about? How will we calculate the expected value and the expected monetary value? And finally, we will illustrate all of that with an example. The principles of quantitative risk evaluation are based on two parameters. First, we have to determine the value of the risk. That value can be expressed in different parameters like time and cost. The risk statement can say that the project will be 20 days late if the risk occurs. Or if the risk occurs, we can lose 100,000 euro. Once we've finished risk qualification, we have a list of risks that are important and that we have to quantify. And to do that, there are different analysis and modeling techniques available. We will look at some of those during this section. Probability, cost and expected value. The probability is the percentage or the chance of occurrence of a risk. We looked at that before. It's very important to estimate that probability correctly. We have to look at the cost of the risk. What will be the result when the risk happens? And we can identify that in the different parameters, time, money, scope, quality. To identify or to calculate the expected value, we have to multiply the effect with the probability. For example, there is a 10% probability that the project will be 10 days late. This means that the expected value is two days. We have a 10% probability that the project will cost 100,000 euro more due to this risk. The 10% of 100,000 is 10,000 euro, also expected value. The next step is to calculate the expected monetary value. We already identified the expected value, but now we have to say what does that mean in money? One euro, when we talk about cost, is one euro, so that's quite simple. When the expected value is 10,000 euro, the expected monetary value will also be 10,000 euro. On the other hand, when we talk about days, expected value of two days, then we have to know what is the value how or how much does one day delay cost? For example, 1,000 euro, then we multiply the expected value with the money, the cost for one unit. So when we have the two days as expected value, we multiply with the 1,000 euro per day, it would be an expected monetary value of 2,000 euro. Let's look at an example, how to calculate the expected value and the expected monetary value in two different cases. The first case, a project has a probability of 20% to be 25 days late. The cost per day late is 1,000 euro. So the expected value is 25 times 20% is five days. To get the expected monetary value, we'll have to multiply the expected value with 1,000, which gives me an expected monetary value of 5,000 euro. But be careful. This is just a statistical approach to risk in order to prepare risk budgets. 
when the risk really happens, the project will not be five days late, but it will be 25 days late. And the cost will not be 5,000 euro, but it will cost us 25,000 euro. So this is a big and important issue to take into account the probabilistic approach of the risk and the actual cost when the risk would occur. Let's look at a second project or a second risk, maybe on the same project or not. The probability of being late and costing more than 100,000 euro is 10%. In this case, we talk about money. So we know that the expected monetary value is equal to the expected value. In this case, 100,000 times 10% 10 is 10,000 euro. Not very difficult, simple calculations, but of course, you have to remember all of them and sometimes it can be a little bit confusing. Let's look at a more complicated example where we have to select between two suppliers. Supplier A will cost 250,000 euro when the supplier delivers on target. Supplier B will cost 248,000 euro. There is a probability that supplier A will be 20 days late with a probability of 15%, and for supplier B, it would be 60 days with a probability of 10%. So, try to make the calculation. Stop the presentation for a few, a few minutes. Find the expected value for supplier A and the expected value for supplier B. So you are back, you finished your calculations. Let's have a look and see how you did it. Supplier A and supplier B. Expected value for supplier A. Do you remember? It was 20 days with a probability of 15%. So the expected value is equal to three days. Now let's look at supplier B. We apply the same principle, but now supplier B is known to be late with 60 days and a probability of 10%. So 60 times 10% is six days. The next element is to calculate the expected monetary value. Now we have to calculate, we have to multiply the expected value with the cost of one day. Let's say it's again 1000 euro. Let's calculate the expected monetary value. How much do you think it is? Take a few minutes to do the calculation and Stop the presentation and then we continue. You finished the calculation. Let's have a look. The expected monetary value is equal to the expected value, 3, multiply with the cost of one day delay. It's 3,000 in total. The same for the expected monetary value for supplier B, six days, six times 1,000 is 6,000. Now I want to calculate the total expected monetary value of supplier A. How much will or can supplier A cost us taking into account the risk management? Here we have to take the original price, which is 250,000 euro, and we have to add the expected monetary value of the risk. So that is 250,000 plus 3,000 
is 253,000. Now do the same for supplier B. Stop the presentation, do the calculation, and come back. Here we are again. How much you think it is? Supplier B on target would cost 248,000. The expected monetary value of the risk is 6,000. So 248,000 plus 6,000 is 240, sorry, 254,000 euro. Supplier B has an expected monetary value higher than supplier A, so we select supplier A. Ready to continue? We are going to the end of risk management. Everything is going well. You're doing a great job. I hope you like the calculations. They're not too difficult, but you have to stay concentrated and focused. See you in the next session.